guys. It's me. Let it be me. I'm the Fantastic Chris Plastic. This is Shiny Plastic People, and I get to talk about Star Wars. I don't know if you guys know this. I really like Star Wars. I normally just talk DC here, but I love Star Wars. So do me a favor. I actually already opened this bad boy. I got myself some blue milk. Ooh, so blue. Ooh. Bonus review right at the start. As I put the cap on the milk. Hopefully my dogs won't bark this time. Spoiler, I've drank it before. It tastes like vanilla melted ice cream. Melted vanilla ice cream, yes! Woo! Guys, yesterday, a punk with toys kicked off the May, the Power of the Force event. And all month long, a different toy tuber on YouTube, toy tuber YouTube, ha, will be reviewing a different Power of the Force action figure. I get to go second. How cool is that? And I'm kicking it off with Aunt Baru. Yeah. Aunt Baru wants you to drink your blue milk. And she wants you to have a good time. You're just a kid after all. Come on, enjoy it. Oftentimes, when collectors talk about getting in to cheap, Vintage lines, they'll talk Star Trek from Playmates. But they're sleeping on Power of the Force. It's a cheap line, so cheap, Aunt Baru got an action figure, so let's go to the studio and check her out. Go! Yes! Blue Milk, Aunt Baru. I love it. I love it. Guys, people were so insistent that this line was going to be so valuable. Someone put Aunt Baru in a protective case. <laughs> I got her for four bucks, like this. Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. Four bucks plus shipping. Totally worth it. Let's open this protective shell up. Let Aunt Baru be free. She doesn't have much time left. Oh, it's a tight fit in there. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful green in the background. It has an episode one tie-in, guys. You can see Aunt Baru, but we're going to flash over to Shmi Skywalker. They're they're both maternal figures, so, you know. People like that, right? Ooh, now back. Wow. Incredible. How many toys do you know with an action feature on the packaging? She comes with a service droid and some blue milk, guys. Blue milk. Take a look at the back of the box here. Coming summer 1999 to a galaxy near you. Star Wars Episode One getting re-released to theaters. That's very cool. There's going to be new characters, vehicles, and worlds. Can you believe it? Featured on the back here, we have Emperor Palpatine, R2-D2, Princess Leia Organa, Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Ben, a.k.a. Obi-Wan Kenobi, and of course, Yoda. Guys, this line is so cool. When it first started off, everybody had these really big, bulking superhero physiques, thinking that that's what the kids wanted. But soon, after a couple waves, they corrected, had everybody a little bit thinned out. It's a lot of fun. This was a really cool line. Um, it really kind of, it started with, was it with the Shadows of the Empire? There's going to be a lot of guessing. I'm not an expert on this line, and don't hold that against me. And in many ways, the episode one figures really continued this tradition. I know I had Obi-Wan Kenobi and I had Maul, Darth Maul, in that episode one wave. Just, they were so cool. So, you know what? I'm sorry to the person who preserved it all these years later. 25 years. That's crazy. Save this Aunt Beru figure. Probably lost money in the long run. But we're going to open up. I love opening old toys. I'm trying to do this with my hands like a monster. Oh, right off the card. Oh, do you think this thing pulls out? Oh, it's plastic. Look at it. Oh, it's plastic. Wee! Wee! I'm easily amused, people. We have our container. Of blue milk Ooh, for serving. 
she has a glass of blue milk. It's got... Oh, this tape is so gross! <laughs> oh, I'm not going to take it off. It's disgusting. A glass of blue milk, just like us. Haha, <laughs> cheers. Tink, tink. That's a sound effect, kids. That's right. You didn't know old Chris Plastic was a Foley artist, did you? Ha <laughs> ha no. Nope, Aunt Brew, hang out right here real fast. Um, We have this service droid. Nothing really happens here. Um, it does twist on this pedestal a little bit. He's there to help you with your uh, moisture evaporators. He's not as skilled as, you know, a protocol droid like your uh, R2s. Well, not R2. R2 is a uh, astromech. I mean, of course, uh, protocol droids like C-3PO. Oh, can he... he? He will happily serve you a glass of blue milk. Thank you, service droid. Thank you. Then we have Aunt Brew herself in that intergalactic 70s style. Let's get her up close to the camera here so you can see that beautiful face sculpt. <laughs> oh, Brew. Aunt Brew. We get a head spinny spinny all the way around. Arms. The same effect. She's she's permanently got an elbow bend. Nothing else going on there. Um, under the skirt. My apologies, Aunt Baru. Uh, legs go back. They go forward. But we are, of course, heavily limited by this dress. Oh, but is that a denim jacket in outer space? It may be. There's some bad paint here on her shoulder. Oh. You can see that. That's unfortunate. Come on. Who do I talk to about this? Who do I complain to 25 years later? <laughs> this was the action figure kids were crying for. Trust me. She's get to go with me on all my adventures because I too am a Star War. Maybe a different scale. Or maybe I'm just a giant. I'm not a giant. I'm very short. I'm, I'm, I'm easily excitable today, guys. Guys, Aunt Baru got an action figure. How hilarious is that? I can't move my legs because of the dress. It's unfortunate. I'm sorry, Aunt Beru. You weren't in the movie very long. She had too much of her... Luke had too much of his father in him. Oh, she does spin at the waist. Ooh. I'm such a hillbilly. Oh, so brown. So much brown. I can't believe... You guys don't have an Aunt Brew in your, your uh, collection. If you do, if you do have an Aunt Brew, and if you don't, either way, do me a favor. Like this video. That'd be really cool of you. I'm going to reach in for a glass of milk here. Comment on this video. Tell me about how much you love your Aunt Brew. And subscribe to my channel, because that helps me out. It helps me out a lot. Hey, let's go ahead. Turn on our fuzzy background. Fuzzy background. Come back on camera here. Blue milk. Mm. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Do me a favor. Tomorrow, Wraith Mace, I had to think about it, is reviewing the Rancor from Power of the Force. There will be a link to his channel at the end of this video. So please go over, check him out, and enjoy all the fun this month. I can't wait for it. Let's see what other crazy figures we will get this month. Let yourself shine. Be cool. Ah, it's Sunday. You know, I this is premiering on uh, Thursday, but I, I actually uh, recorded on Sunday. But I got to go to work tomorrow, and I don't like that, but that's okay. <laughs> Guys, like I said, let yourself shine. Peace.